Diablo 4 is the next generation of action RPG, melding monster slaying and loot collecting with a fully realized open world. It's not for the faint of heart. It's gory and unnerving. It's creepy. Diablo 4 is all about player choice. It takes all of the pillars of a Diablo game and just expands them with all of the new features that people really love and appreciate in modern games. Whoever you see yourself being, you can create in Diablo 4. It's important to include robust character customization because then I can play the fantasy that I want to play. It allows you to switch around your playstyle as well. Everything feels very powerful and fun. One of the really cool things about having an open world is your journey that you take throughout Diablo 4 is your own. There's no linear path that you have to follow. We've got almost 150 dungeons in the game. There's all kinds of surprises as you're exploring. Strongholds are an enemy territory that you need to reclaim. But you might have a space that begins as a hostile area, but after you've cleared it out... The evil in this place has been cleansed. It now becomes a friendly town. Sometimes it's a new town, sometimes it's a new dungeon. There's a whole bunch of rewards that you get and you have a real impact on the world as a result. No, you can't leave us here. They might come back any moment. Local events are really cool little story segments that happen within the open world. You'll just be running through the world and then a local event will pop up and you can choose to participate in it or get a group together and just wail on these like giant world bosses. These are events that take a lot of people and you really have to work together. Being able to see all the players on your screen, collaborating, trying to take this big monster down, it's, it's epic. It's so easy to create a community. It makes Diablo more of a social experience. We've got fully enabled crossplay. If you have an Xbox and your buddy has a PC, you're gonna be able to group up where you could play couch co-op. Two people on a couch can sit there and have a great experience. We've created specific zones where players can engage in PvP. If you go there, you can start swinging away at people. But you're also opening yourself up to being swung at. If you're like really, really good, the game actually marks you as like a champion on the map. You basically become a loot pinata, and everyone wants to chase you down. The last story mission is really the beginning of a whole different part of the journey. Now you're set up for the end game, and that end game is rich with things to do that allow you to get more and more powerful. Whether it's new items or new dungeons or new paragon boards, every single time you come back to play Diablo 4, there's going to be new stuff for you to experience and it's something that we're gonna support for years to come. I'm really excited for folks to get their hands on Diablo 4. Just to see millions of people really enjoying the different options. Through the campaign. Local events. Couch co-op. End game. PVP, it almost doesn't end. And we are so close. I speak now to those who heed a darker call. Those bold enough to cross the line of sin for deeper knowledge. Who follow an unknown.
unquenchable yearning, born of blood and bone. To unlock the forbidden secrets and foulest black rituals, calling forth life from death. living sacrifice to this profane knowledge. You will be a priest of Rathma. A necromancer. And you will not confront the darkness alone. Are the speakers of the dead, and the dead have 